Matthew 6.33 But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Materials Engineer Reviewer Part 7 Disclaimer Answers are taken from the latest available reference upon the upload date of this video. For instances that there are future updates of standards, the latest update shall govern. 41. What is the minimum temperature for stone mastic asphalt? A. 100 to 145 degrees Celsius. B. 145 to 190 degrees Celsius. C. 125 to 170 degrees Celsius. D. 135 to 180 degrees Celsius. D. 135 to 180 degrees Celsius. Reference. Item 734.3.3. Laying. The mixture shall be placed at a temperature of not less than 135 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 180 degrees Celsius measured in the truck before dumping into the spreader. 42. Excessive vibration of newly placed fresh concrete may result in a. Smooth surface finish, b. Well-dense graded mix, c. Bleeding slash latence, d. Quick settlement. 43. C. Bleeding slash latence, reference, Blue Book 2013, 407.3.2 Compaction of Concrete. The vibration shall be of sufficient duration and intensity to compact the concrete thoroughly but shall not be continued so as to cause segregation. Bleeding is one form of segregation where water comes out to the surface of the concrete. Reference, civilblog.org. 43. The SS designation in an emulsified asphalt means, A. Single size, B. Soft solid, C. Slow setting, D. Soluble solid. 3. Slow setting, reference, ASTM D977, standard specification for emulsified asphalt, keywords, slow setting. 44. The test conducted on a fully cured carbon fiber sheet application to determine the adhesion to the substrate is called, A. Compressive strength test, B. Flexural strength test, C. Pull-off test, D. Bonding test. 3. Pull-off test, reference, DO160S 2016, item 416, carbon fiber sheet. Tensile strength and pull-off bond strength of the carbon fiber sheet shall be approved by the engineer. 45. An asphalt pavement was assessed to have an international roughness value of 3.52 meter per kilometer. In accordance to DPWH Department Order No. 137, Series of 2016, the contractor, a. Is entitled to receive 100% payment of the item cast, B. Is entitled to receive 90% payment of the item cast, C. Is entitled to receive 70% payment of the item cast, D. Will receive no payment. D. Will receive no payment. Reference, Item 307, Bituminous Plant Mix Surface Course General. Note, DO-137, series of 2016 is superseded by DO-21S 2019, but no changes on IRI payment adjustment for asphalt pavement. 46. Compute the percent variation in mass of a 19 mm diameter deformed steel bar with the following laboratory test data, length of specimen equals 1000 mm, mass of specimen equals 2.322 kg, nominal mass equals 2.235 kg per meter, nominal area equals 284 mm squared. What is the mass in variation of the sample, A, 6%, B, 3%, C, 4%, D. None of the above. C. 4%. Exact is 4.17%. Calculation. Given. 
length of test specimen equals 1000 mm, weight of test specimen equals 2.322 kg, nominal diameter equals 19 mm, nominal cross-sectional area equals 284 mm squared, solution, solve for actual and nominal unit weight. Actual unit weight is equal to weight of specimen which is 2.322 kg divided by length of specimen which is 1000 mm multiplied by 1000 to convert mm to meter. Nominal unit weight is equal to 0.00785 g per mm3 multiplied by nominal cross sectional area which is 284 mm2. Now solve variation of mass using formula. Variation of mass equals actual unit weight minus nominal unit weight divided by nominal unit weight times 100. Reference. PNS 49 2020 and DPWH Laboratory Manual Volume 5. 47. The sieving process grain size does not provide information on a. Shape of the soil grains, b. Distribution of the grain sizes, c. Soil classification, d. Both a and c. A. Shape of the Soil Grains, Reference, DPWH Laboratory Manual Volume 1, Particle Size Analysis of Soil, Significance. 48. How much is the required lapped length of splices of reinforcing bar as per item 404 when the splice type is compression, and the reinforcement grade is 60, A. 20 bar diameters, B. 24 bar diameters, C. 12 bar diameters, D. 36 bar diameters. B. 24 bar diameters. Reference. Blue Book 2013. Item 404. Reinforcing Steel. 49. Unless specified, non-shrink grout shall be placed when in contact with water at blank. A. 15 minutes. B. 30 minutes. C. 45 minutes. D. 60 minutes. D. 60 minutes. Reference. Blue Book 2013. Item 727. Non-shrink grout. Unless otherwise recommended by the manufacturer. Minimum application thickness of non-shrink grout shall be 10 mm and shall be placed within 60 minutes after mixing. 50. In a stockpile of soil aggregates. Where is the proper location of sampling? A. Bottom, middle and top. B. Bottom only. C. Bottom and top only. D. Middle part. A. Bottom, middle and top. Reference. Ashto T2-91-2015. Appendixes. Non-mandatory information. At least three increments. Top third, midpoint, and bottom third by volume not by height. 51. The following are the result of CHB load bearing compression test, width equals 150 mm, length equals 394 mm, height equals 194 mm, axial load equals 52,300 pounds, what is the compressive strength, A, 2.8 MPA, B, 3.9 MPA, C, 4.2 MPA, D. None of the above. B. 3.9 MPA. Solution. Answer choices are in MPA Newton per millimeter square. Convert the load pounds to Newton then divide by gross area length times width to get the gross area compressive strength in MPA. Reference. ASTM C140M. 22B. 52. As much as possible, placement of reflectorized thermoplastic rumble strips shall be limited to the following locations except A. Pedestrian crossing. B. Bicycle routes, C. Residential areas, D. Urban areas. D. Urban areas, reference, Blue Book 2013, Item 618, Reflectorized Thermoplastic Rumble Strips. As much as possible, Placement of reflectorized thermoplastic rumble strips shall be limited to rural locations and shall not be installed near residential areas because of the noise it can generate. It should not be placed through pedestrian crossings or on bicycle routes, 
limited is same as restricted or not allowed to certain degree. 53. Which of the following is considered as suitable embankment material? A. Highly organic material. B. Moisture content exceeds 100%. C. Cannot be compacted. D. None of the above. D. None of the above. Reference. Blue Book 2013. Item 104. Embankment. Unsuitable material. 54. What is the yield point and tensile strength of 16 mm diameter deformed steel bar with the following data? Nominal mass equals 1,552 kg per cubic meter. Nominal area equals 199 mm square. Yield point load equals 15,900 pounds. Tensile load equals 20,800 pounds. A. 250 MPa and 490 MPa. B. 355 MPa and 465 MPa. C. 380 MPa and 510 MPa. D. None of the above. B. 355 MPa and 465 MPa. 55. Moisture content of straw mats and coconut mats, A, 10%, B, 15%, C, 20%, D, 25%. C, 20%, shall not exceed 20%. Reference, Blue Book 2013, Item 512, Erosion Control Mats, Roving and cellular confinement systems, straw and coconut mats, excelsior blanket, or mulch blanket. Moisture content shall not exceed 20%. 56. Which of the following is not included in rolling requirements during compaction? A. Breakdown rolling, B. Primary rolling, C. Intermediate rolling, D. Final rolling, B. Primary Rolling, Reference, PavementInteractive.org, Typical Roller Position Used in Compaction are, Breakdown Roller, Intermediate Roller, and Finish Roller. 57. In the Quality Control Test for an Asphalt, this determines the index retained strength of the mix, A. Immersion Compression Test, B. CBR, C. Abrasion Test, D. Martial Stability Test. A. Immersion Compression Test, Reference, Ashto T165, ASTM D1075 DPWH Lab Manual Volume 2. Index of retained strength equals compressive strength of immersed specimens times 100 divided by compressive strength of dry specimens. Additional notes, asphalt mixture shall have an index of retained strength of not less than 70. 58. Lower penetration indicates what consistency, A, hard consistency, B, soft consistency, C, lighter consistency, D, drier consistency. A, hard consistency, reference, DPWH Laboratory Manual Volume 2, Determination of Penetration of Bituminous Materials, Significance of Test, the penetration test is used as a measure of consistency. The higher values of penetration indicate softer consistency. 59. Painting a three-story building requires 330 gallons of paint. 190 gallons of which are latex and 140 gallons are flat enamel. How many gallons of paint must be submitted for quality test? A. 1 gallon each. B. 2 gallon each. C. 3 gallon each, D, 4 gallon each. B, 2 gallon each, 2 for latex and 2 for enamel. Reference, DO 49S 2021 minimum test requirement. Paint, for liter can or 1 gallon. One quality test for every 100 cans or fraction thereof. 60. Which of the following is a result of improper compaction of an embankment material? A. Minimize compressibility. B. 
decrease soil permeability, c, increase shear strength and soil stability, d, increase void spaces. d, increase void spaces. Reference, ASTM D698, Standard Methods for Laboratory Compaction, 5, Significance and Use. End of Part 7 If you find this video helpful and informative, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified on next uploads. Thank you and God bless.